A historic deal to fund towns and cities around Wisconsin is now finally in state law. Governor Evers signed the $275 million shared revenue bill in Wausau today. Political reporter Will Keneally was there and has more. It was months of negotiating. Now for the moment we're all here for, Governor, we look forward to you signing that bill. That culminated in a bipartisan signing ceremony to overhaul Wisconsin's local funding formula. The state gives aid to cities and towns across Wisconsin, but that's been stagnant for almost two decades. Now it will be tied to a percentage of the state's sales tax. Across the board, everyone is expected to get at least a 20% increase to their state aid. For Madison, that will be more like 58%. For me, with a simple truth, for far too long, our local communities have been forced to do more with less. For the governor, that came with education funding, an increase in aid per student, Republicans also won some funding increases for school voucher programs. But the funding came with a trade-off for Democrats and local officials. For the city of Milwaukee, we were on the verge of insolvency. Milwaukee faces essentially bankruptcy, and under the bill, they must meet certain requirements, like maintain a certain amount of police staffing and put police in schools. I don't know if the mayor or the county executive want to talk to that. Those, I'm sure, were exceedingly different, difficult uh, decisions to make. Now, under Wisconsin law, the governor can veto certain parts of spending bills. But he told us today that he did not consider using a line item veto for this bill. Our colleagues at CBS in Milwaukee report that local leaders there are already considering legal challenges to take out some of those restrictions on Milwaukee. In Wausau, Will Keneally, News 3 Now.